Hey guys, what is up? I hope everybody has been having an awesome day. So I have a, I feel like a cool little video here for you guys. I'm at my home club, Crofton Country Club, and I was like, you know what? It'd be really cool to see how low I can go from the front tees. The front tees are about 5,600 yards. I think the course rating is about a 65, 64. So my goal is to try to break 60. That's gonna be actually really difficult. That would be equivalent to shooting like a 67, 68 from the tips. So we're gonna try to break 60 for 18 holes, see how close we can get if we can't do that just quite. Um, if you guys are like these kinds of, I guess you could say different videos, please be sure to click the like button. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see any kind of other videos of this sort and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. We're almost at 200,000 subscribers. So a subscription is really appreciated. So that being said, let's get into the first hole. We're gonna start in the back today, holes 10 through 18, because just it's a little more available and open. So we have, from here 280 yards par four definitely makes it a lot easier than hitting all the way back there as you guys can see so i'm probably gonna go with a three iron here see if we can get it to the front of the green and give ourselves a look at an eagle All right, guys, so here's where I ended up. Caught this tree right here. It was a little bit on the right with a little bit of wind in my face, so not the burst break at all. Have about 60 yards left, so we'll see if we can get up and down. All right, so off to a kind of so-so start. That was a really, really slick putt. Um, so not super upset at a two putt there at a four. So we'll see. I don't know how realistic it is to break 60, but I'm going to give it my best shot. But we'll definitely try to get pretty far into the 60s and see what we end up shooting. All right, guys, so on to hole 11, par five. You can see the hole all the way back there in that corner. So this is still a pretty long hole. 475 yards so i'm gonna basically play it like a long par four gonna take driver play a bit of a draw to work work with this um kind of hook hole well, i guess dog leg left jesus what am i talking about this dog leg left just started in between those two trees right there and a slight draw so let's send it All right, guys, so just a little bit left here, but I'm in good shape, got 160 left. It's a bit of a headwind, so definitely gonna wanna probably flight this down a bit. I'm thinking hit something like a nine, something like a nine iron and uh, see if we can give ourselves a good look at an eagle. All right, so this is where we ended up. Got about a 20 footer up the hill. So not the best shot, not the worst shot. I'll definitely have a good look at an eagle. So it'd be really nice to get one back here from um, that par I got in the last hole. All right, well, on to the 12th hole, 119 yards. I'm gonna hit a 40 degree wedge, a little bit of wind off the right, just gonna flight it down a little bit, try getting that back part of that green, set ourselves up with a really good look at it too.
right guys, on to our fourth hole of the day, hole 13 at Croft Country Club. 285 yards, pretty much straight away. Bit of a headwind here, so I'm probably gonna go ahead with a two iron, see if we can put it on the green. All right, guys, well, I went a little bit left here, but it is a fairly straightforward shot, just a few trees to deal with. But got about 30 yards, see if we can bump it up there and get up and down. All right, well, that was a fantastic up and down. I really needed something like that, to be honest with you guys. When I hit that that uh, third shot, it landed, I mean, sorry, that second shot, it landed like right on the top of this edge of the bunker here. In fact, I'll show you. It landed right around there, just kind of just skirted up and barely made it past the fringe and onto the green by a foot or two. So that was actually a really good up and down. So feeling pretty good, two under through four. I feel like that's okay. We'll just see how much more we can keep plugging along. On to the fifth hole, hole 14. Let's get going. All right, guys, so on to hole 14. You can see the pin right there. So I have about 284. I'm gonna have to play a pretty big slice, so I'm taking the one iron out. We're gonna go for the screen. So the plan is to try to start it at that water tower, maybe just a little bit right of it, and work it towards that green, see if we can get it on there. Button. All right, guys, we are on the front edge of this green, so that worked out really well. Lost a little bit of distance with the, me playing a fade against the, the um, headwind, but it worked out really well. Got about 30 footer for eagle, and this would be some eagle. This is definitely not a hole I was thinking would be an easy eagle, so give it a good run, and let's just keep this going. All right, well, kind of a ho-hum two putt. I will take easy birdies all day long. So let's hope we can he keep hitting these good shots off the tee. Um, also, we're gonna be with the wind now for the rest of this nine. So that was a kind of a tough first five holes just because there's, there's a bit of wind out there. So feel pretty good about being three under. Just gotta keep going and uh, we'll see how far we can get under par. Well, on to hole 15, a slight wind off the left. That is the pin right there waving back at us. So that will be interesting to see where this ball ends up. I'm going to hit a two iron right over that split tree, right at the pin. It's about a 300 yard shot. So we should be able to reach this green and we should be able to give ourselves a look at an eagle with a good shot. Well, I am in quite the interesting spot there. So that is the tee box on the hole before, and that is the pin. So I actually got a bit of a break here because if I was in the rough, there's no way I would have been able to get this very close. But I can get some spin on this. So we'll see if we can hit it close. Looks like I'll have about 40 yards. So see if we can hit a good shot.
Well, a bit of a misread there. Don't really have an excuse for that one because this is my home course. But uh, that is a tough location for sure. So, a bit of a disappointing four. Got a bit of a bad break on the second shot. Kind of caught the lip of the bunker. If I carried another, uh, probably yard, that would have landed on the front fringe and gotten a lot closer. But it is what it is. The good news is that the next hole is a par five and it'll be bombs away. So I'll pull all that anger and disappointment into the next drive. All right guys, so as I said, par five, wanted to take a line right over here with a tight draw. Shouldn't have much more than 120 yards left if I hit a good tee shot. All right, guys, this is absolutely insane. I don't know if this hit a sprinkler head or just got a crazy hop, but this is my ball. I don't, I hit that hard and I did have a tailwind, so I'm wondering if that helped. The, the fairway does slope away for me a lot. My guess is it landed on that mogul right there and just absolutely hit and ran. This is about 425, 430, so I guess it is plausible that with a good rollout, it's about 60 degrees. Um, it is plausible with a good rollout. I could have gotten all the way down here. This is insane. <laughs> I hit that ball hard. So I literally have about 30 yards left on this par five. So see if we can get up and down or even hold this out. That would be a pretty cool albatross. So that was insane. I hit that hard though, I'm not gonna lie. So very good chance for a dingle. See if we can make it happen. All right, guys, well, that was really, I'm really glad I got that up and down. So five under, through seven, two holes left on this side. We have 130 yards, hole 17, par three. Gonna hit a 40 degree wedge, still a bit of a helping wind, so I gotta keep that in mind. These last two holes, relatively speaking, are actually gonna be fairly difficult. Not that they're hard, because I'm playing from the front tees, but compared to the last couple, these are gonna be a little more challenging to make birdie on, or even eagle. So, see so if we can keep this momentum going. We got a real, we got a chance to break 30, so that'd be really cool. And um, yeah, so see if we can hit it close. So I got about, if you look right here, got about probably 20 feet here, so. Leaked it out to the right a little bit, but got the right yardage at least. Um, so about a 20, 25 footer. This would be an awesome two. This is probably the hardest hole on the backside from the front tee. So give it a good run. Either way, we should have an easy three. So let's see if we can make it. All right, guys, on to the final hole. Hole 18, 320 yards to the pin. You can see pin back there in the, in the distance. So I'm gonna go with the two iron because it is a bit of a tailwind. Um, so let's see. If I can make an eagle, we can break 30. I think I still have a chance of doing that. And um, we'll see. It's been it's been a tough, tough day, honestly. Like the wind's been a little bit brisker than normal up here. But no complaints. I'm pretty happy with how I'm playing. It's been a fun nine holes. If you guys want to see more videos like this where I play from the front tees and just go for everything and have a little bit of fun, let me know. But we're going to hit the two iron.
That is really good. That, that's gonna be really close, I think. That was really good. Guys, I just looked. <laughs> I looked, I couldn't resist. I looked at my rangefinder. That is about seven feet from the pin. That is pin high, about seven feet away. Like, that was insane. That was about 305 yards away. Whew. We're gonna have a shot to shoot 29. I'm super excited. Let's get to it. Oh, guys, here it is. That is even closer than I thought it would be. And from what I ascertained, it looks like it landed back there, somewhere around this spot right here, and just trickled on up and just one of those shots where it was the perfect distance and really good line. So definitely excited about that. Gonna have about a six footer, seven footer to break 30. So let's see if we can roll it in. Oh, <laughs> well, that sucked. I, I don't know. Honestly, that was the exact putt I wanted. Maybe just the hair firmer than I wanted to roll it. Oh, that stings. But uh, still shot a decent round of 30. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing it. It's nice to get back in the saddle and be filming these videos. So really hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you did, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys next time.